Magic Land Italy is a family theme park located in Valmonte, Italy. And with it being home to over 30 rides and attractions, there is no wonder it is so popular. However, today we are going to count down the top 10 rides at Magic Land Italy. Starting off at number 10, we have Loai Cervante. And no matter whether you want to take a trip high into the sky or you are just looking for another fun family ride, then its observation tower is just for you. The only thing is, however, this is not your normal observation tower because not only will you be risen to a height of 50 meters in the air, providing some of the best 360 degree views that you can get across both the park and surrounding area, but instead of heading up the tower, you will be lifted by a humongous arm, creating an incredible experience that I would feel wrong not putting on our top 10 list. Are you heading to Magic Land on a hot Italian day? Well, if the answer is yes, then look no further. As for our number 9 spot, we have Batigla Navel, which as you can probably guess by the name, will get you very, very wet. And you will not be wrong, with as soon as you have boarded one of the many Viking themed battleships you adventuring around lots of broken ships, rock monuments and even sea dragons. However, we are still not at the soaking part yet, as the boats are also equipped with a water gun, allowing you to have a 6 minute water fight, quite literally like no other. It is time for our first, but definitely not last, roller coaster on the list as for our number eight spot we have june where you of course if you think you have what it takes to fly through the sky will be able to experience the fun twists turns drops and airtime hills of the bigger rides at the park just without the petrifying thrills how awesome does that sound and so when also taken into account with it being a family coaster, it normally has a lot shorter queue lines as well as that incredible back row experience. This is a perfect attraction for all adults, kids and those absolute thrill seekers alike. For our number 7 spot on our top 10 list, things are continuing to get even crazier as we have the Rapids, Magic Land's Believe It or Not Rapids ride. And wow, despite it not getting you absolutely soaked, it definitely packs a punch. With as soon as you and the other eight explorers have boarded the raft, you spinning around everything from your classic rapid water waves, waterfalls and spraying canyons to some if not the best theming and scenery that I have ever seen on a rapids ride and therefore in my eyes a trip to the park would be nowhere near complete without a ride. If Badakula Neve and the rapids did not get you wet enough though and you still want to get absolutely drenched then do not fear, as for our number 6 position, we have Nui Lua. The water rider has taken the word drench to the next level. And I think from the moment you see it in motion, it is very easy to see why. Nevertheless, if you do choose to take a ride, then it only gets 10 times crazier, with your log making its way around into and out of a volcano whilst also completing not one but two giant drops with the second one standing at a whopping height of 12 meters in the air and definitely finishing off the ride with a giant splash.
top five were, were and coming in for this position, we have Yucatan, our fourth, but I promise you last water ride on the list. And so for starters, with there being so many water rides at the park, if you are visiting the park on a busy day, then we we'll suggest riding your favourite two first. However, if this is on your list, then you will definitely not be disappointed. With similar two of the water rides we've covered combined, along your five minute adventure, you will get sprayed by water cannons, head into ancient temples, and of course drop down a total of two giant drops into the water below, getting you soaked for the rest of your day. Make sure to get your sick bags at the ready. As for our number four position, we have Caglasro, the park spinning coaster with a twist. And here is what. Now, of course, it would not be a world class spinning coaster without non stop spinning you around many twists, turns, drops, and helixes at a pretty fast speed. And this ride is no different. Nevertheless, what makes it so crazy is that you'll be doing all of this and so, so much more in a pitch black room. And you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that this is both very intense as well as an experience that you nor your stomach will ever forget. Here we are at the top three rides at the park. And for our number three position, we have Wild Rodeo. The ride that will make you scream, laugh and cry at the same time. Because as soon as you and the rest of the thrill seekers in your group have boarded the gyro swing, you will rock back and forth, higher and higher, whilst also spinning around non-stop until you are literally rotating completely upside down. And yes, you did hear me right there guys, you will rotate the whole way around, causing both an awful lot of upside down hang time and let's just say a few screams at the same time. If you are scared of heights then, skip to number one. As for our number two position, we have Misty Car, and with it standing at a height of 73 meters in the air, making it the tallest ride at the park, already I know some of you are going to be like, no way Jose, although it does not stop there, as once you have made it to this height, not only will you get an amazing view of the park and surrounding area for what feels like an eternity, but before you can say, wow, that really is an amazing view, will plummet back down to planet Earth in a matter of seconds, which is pretty bonkers if you ask me. We have made it to the number one spot and in my eyes for the best ride at the park, we have got no other than shock. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part, we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning, from the moment you walk into the park and see this giant launch coaster, you will instantly want to take a ride, and you should definitely do just that, as words literally cannot describe how amazing its many twists, turns, drops, inversions and launch that you will complete at a max speed of 60 miles per hour really are. And so I think it is very easy to see why this is at our number one spot. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.